both these questions that we are talking about is about electric dipole one is a neat question another one is a cbsc question we will first start with this question right it says the polar molecules are the molecules so first of all we should understand what do you mean by a polar molecule it is simple to say that it's a dipole having a positive charge and a negative charge separated by a specific distance and this positive charge and negative charge won't coincide with their positions their positions are slightly different so from center you can call both the distances as a then we can call electric dipole moment as we can define electric dipole moment as when two charges of equal magnitude but opposite sign separated by a certain distance electric dipole moment can be written as any one charge multiplied by the separation between them so as q is there 2a is there a polar molecule does always have polar molecule molecule always have some dipole moment so option d is it has a permanent electric dipole moment is correct having zero dipole moment is wrong it don't need an electric field or magnetic field to acquire a dipole moment it is always there right so that's the answer answer d let's have a look at the next question an electric dipole of moment p is lying that is this itself is lying in a uniform electric field e what is the work done in rotating by a dipole, dipole right so we know when a electric field is there around a dipole the work done can be having a formula it can be written like p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 where theta 1 is from which angle to which other angle it is rotated in the electric field the dipole is rotated in the electric field it was initially said it is lying along the field that means it is initially having zero angle work done in rotating by an angle of 90 degree that means you are rotating from 0 degree to 90 degree that implies work done equal to pe cos 0 Minus cos ninety. P e cos zero is one. Cos zero is a uh, one, and cos ninety is zero. That is P e itself. So the work done equal to P e. That's the answer for the problem. So both these are very simple problems asked on the basics of the electric dipole and dipole moment itself. That's it. Thank you for watching.